Hello HackTubers and welcome back to my new hack. Today is Monday, 25th May 2020. Okay, today's project is 18650 battery charger with battery monitor. Yes, we are making simple lithium-ion battery charger. And I'm making from these components. As I say, you will need these parts. This is LM317 voltage regulator that can handle up to 1.5 amps. This is a heatsink for this guy with this metal screw that we want to use it to fix the regulator on the heatsink. With this voltage regulator I am gonna make exactly 4.2 volts that I need for charging the lithium battery. For doing that you will need just two resistors. One is 220 ohms, yes, and other is 510 ohms. With, two, with these two resistors and LM317 I'm gonna get 4.2 volts. The input voltage will be from 5 and up to 12 volts. This is one circuit and it's, it's the voltage regulator. The battery monitor is this one. You will need four LEDs. Two LEDs with yellow color, two LEDs with red color. Resistor for, for red LEDs is 1.5 kilo ohms, yes. And for the yellow LEDs, we're gonna use it 820 ohms. Okay. These two LEDs we're gonna connect in serial connection. Also, and the red. You can see the schematic. It's right here. Yellow LEDs connected in serial through 820 ohm resistor makes one circuit. And these are red LEDs connected in serial through 1.5 kilo ohms. The red LEDs will indicate low voltage. The yellow LEDs will indicate full battery. How this battery monitor indicator works? I'm using the drop voltage of the LEDs, so two red LEDs connected in serial will make about, let's say, 3.3 volts to light up. Below that voltage, this LED won't turn on. It's the same for the yellow LEDs. Connected in serial, the drop voltage for two LEDs will be around 3.8 volts. So these will light up when the voltage is 3.8 volts. We have positive and negative. This will be connected on output here and on the ground. The battery will be connected positive on out here 4.2 volts negative on ground voltage in here on pin 3 of LM317 voltage in from 5 to 12 volts DC
And here it is the formula for calculating the voltage out. When you do the math, you will get 4.137 volts. If we use for R2 510 ohms and for R1 220 ohms. Let's build it. And of course, on the end of this video, I'm gonna test it.
made the circuit, the voltage regulator for giving 4.2 volts and the LED battery monitor that will indicate low and full of the battery. I solder the battery holder on the main board. The red is positive for voltage in, blue is negative for voltage in, ground is for battery and for the board is the same. We have voltage in on pin 3 of LM317 and voltage out on pin 2. Solder it. Let's try it. Ground positive. Let's kill the lights. It's working. Red and the yellow LEDs are light up, indicating 4.2 volts. Let's check that. I'm gonna measure here. 4.192 volts. Wow. Let's measure the voltage. 4.192 volts. Super! It's working great. Now I'm gonna test the voltage LED indicator. The LEDs are light up and currently I'm I'm giving them 4.2 volts with this adjustable power unit. I'm gonna make voltage drop 3.9. The yellow LEDs are dimming 3.6 volts and they are out. Only the red LEDs are turned on, that indicating low voltage of the battery. When I increase the voltage again up to 4 volts the yellow LEDs are light up again indicating full battery. Now let's charge this battery. I'm gonna plug in. Okay. And it's charging. From here you can see that it's pulling almost 900 milliampers. This battery is charged with 900 milliampers. And remember, this is just a voltage regulator. I have just regulated the voltage 4.2 volts. The amperes are not regulated. For regulator amperes you will need another circuit, but right now I'm regulating the, the amperes with this power unit. Let's increase the amperes. Look, one amp. Now the battery is charging with one amp. It's not even a hot. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and see you next time.